Hey guys, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I went shopping. Okay, that's true of a lot of days. It's my favorite pastime. Um, but I went shopping at Ross. I love shopping at Ross for clothes and for, you know, like tchotchkes and things for around the house. But I've struggled when I've tried to my makeup there. A lot of times the packaging is opened or used. Um, but I thought, you know, if you're on a budget and you're looking for some makeup, you might go look at Ross. So I tried to find a full face. However, I could not find any foundation or concealer, brow products at all. Of course, there was no eye primer. Um, I did find most of the rest of the face. So, I'm going to try and I'm going to do a full face-ish of stuff from Ross budget makeup. I don't think I spent more than about $25 on all the products that I bought today. And that's what we're doing today. So if that sounds interesting, please stick around. Uh, could get this video a like. And if you haven't already, you could hit that subscribe button. That would be pretty amazing so let's just get into it I'm gonna do my brows I'm gonna do my eye primer um, because I want to give the eyeshadow palette the best chance at success so I'm going to apply it over eye primer so let me do that and I will be right back okay so I've clipped my hair back I did my brows I did my prime my eye primer so let's get into eyes. I found this Profusion face palette. It's Profusion Beauty Book Eye and Face palette. It's got a load of butterflies on it. And then it's got all these eyeshadows, which are like browns and teals. And it's got a blush. It's got a really dark bronzer that I'm not going to use. And quite a dark highlighter that I'm not going to use. But I am going to use the blush out of this. And I am going to use some shadows from this palette. This was $4.99 for this. These do not have shade names. So I'm just going to show you which shadows. Actually, I'm going to, you know, I said I wasn't going to use that bronzer. I am going to use that bronzer. I'm going to use it in the crease. So I'm going to use this bronzer shade down here. We're going to go in to the crease with it. And then I'm going to deepen up the outside corner with this brown shade here. Oh, I've been, I just bought tickets. To go see The Little Mermaid when it comes out in theaters. Because the original was like my favorite movie ever as a kid. And it's still in my top three favorite movies. And so I'm really excited for the live action. Okay. So now I want to add in some brighter color. I am going to go into this teal shade here. So far, these have gone on true to color for what they are in the palette. I'm not mad at these shadows at all. Okay, so I've done foundation, I've done concealer, um, powder. Those are things that I they just didn't have at Ross. Now I'm going back into the Profusion Beauty Book, and I'm going to use the blush that's in there. Um, I kind of struggled finding a blush when I was looking they didn't have a lot of options and this one was kind of a like a pinky just like a nice pretty pink so we're gonna go with this blush okay moving on from the profusion they had this Cream Shop Angel Face Powder Highlighter Duo. So it's, and everything that I bought was like sealed before I opened them now, but they were sealed before 
I bought them. And this was $2.49. So we're gonna give it a shot. It's got two sides to it. One is kind of this darker and one is this like pinky kind of peachy highlight. So I'm gonna try that. Very subtle. So I'm not like mad that it's subtle. I just kind of no, you can kind of see it. I kind of like that. They had this Nude Lip Shimmer Lip Balm with Shea Butter set. And it was $4.99 and you got five lip balms. I kind of want to try this like red one. It smells like something. Not. Lips was something else. They didn't hardly have any lip products. Ah, it feels like a lip balm. It has like no color to it. It just kind of gives the lips a little bit of a sheen like a lip balm. Let me finish up on the eyes real quick. Gara, they had Maybelline Great Lash. For $3.99 they had it. So I went ahead and went for it. And it's in very black. And this was sealed in the package. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And I, I have a lash. So I wasn't super concerned with the mascara being epic. <laughs> it's not... The most dramatic mascara but for like I said darkening your lashes if you're looking for a more natural look great lash is just that it's great so these kind of confused me I decided I wanted to get a lash um, and the brand on this confused me it's Vivitar is the brand and I was like don't they make like cameras Maybe it's a different Vivitar? <laughs> I don't know, but that was confusing. I think I may go with the middle ones, and we'll see because those bottom ones look really long. So, and these were $3.99. These have a very stiff band. Um, that doesn't really want, it doesn't have much give. And they're very, I don't know if you can see like how straight that is. And that's straight out the package. Not placed very well. Don't look too closely. <laughs> I don't know, I don't love it. I don't love them. Um, probably won't reach for them again. I'll probably take them off as soon as I'm done filming. And that will be the last time I use these lashes. So that's the look using makeup that came from Ross. Um, that little Profusion palette, cute. I didn't have any problems with it. The colors went on just fine. Blush that was in that palette, cute. Worked, matte blush. I think it looks all right. Dream Shop highlighter, good nude highlighter. Don't have any complaints there. Lip balms were lip balms. Uh, I mean, my lips feel nice and lip balmed. Uh, the lashes, not a huge fan of the lashes. Um, would I buy makeup from Ross again? Yeah. Uh, just make sure if you're buying from Ross or any of its counterparts, um, like TJ Maxx or I feel like there's another one that I'm just not remembering. There's, but, oh, Marshalls, Burlington. Um, if you're buying from a, an outlet store like that, make sure the packages are closed. Make sure that someone hasn't been sticking their fingers in it because you don't know. They might have put it on their eye and then put it back in there and like, mm. I had to look through like four different racks just to find these, like what, four things. Um, but that being said, they were very inexpensive. Uh, spooky bit. Is this makeup bag? It's so cute. It's got little pentacles and cats and crystal balls and moons on it. 
Um, there's some elastic on the side, so like if you had a bottle of foundation or something, you could slide it in there and it wouldn't knock around with your other products and potentially spill. On Amazon will link in the description box down below. If you've stuck around this long and you liked this video, please give it a like and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Would you buy makeup from Ross? Have you bought makeup from Ross? What was your experience? I hope you have a splendid rest of your day and I will see you later. Bye.